Okay guys, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from Engineering Dynamics. And the problem says that a train starts from rest at station A and accelerates at 0.5 meter per second square for 60 seconds. Afterward, it travels with a constant velocity for 15 minutes. It then deaccelerates at 1 meter per second square until it is brought to rest at station B. Determine the distance between the stations. So the, tra the train travels in three different conditions, right? So for the first conditions, when the train starts from station A, the initial velocity is, let's say, the initial velocity is, let's say, V0, and this is equal to 0. It starts from rest, and the acceleration is... 0 0.5 meter per second square when for t1 equals to 60 seconds so for 60 seconds the acceleration is 0.5 meter per second and the train starts from the initial velocity equals to 0 so we can say that after 60 seconds let's say the velocity is v1 so this will be equal to v1 will be equal to v0 plus a1 into t1 so V0 is 0 and A1 is 0.5 into T1 which is 60. So this will give us 30. So this is 30 meter per second. So after T equals to 60 second, the train velocity is 30 meter per second. And since the problem statement says that determine the distance between the two stations, so we have to find the distance travel for T equals to 60 seconds when it starts from rest. So we can write that S1 will be equal to S0 plus V1, uh, V0 T plus 1 divided by 2 A1 T square. This is T1 and T1, right? So now S1, S0 is 0 plus V0 is 0. So this will become 0 as well, 0 into T1 and then 1 divided by 2 and A1 is 0 0.5 and T1 is 60 squared so this gives us 0 0.5 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 multiply by 0 0.5 multiply by 60 square this gives us 900 so s1 equals to 900 seconds so in 60 seconds the train travels a distance of 900 meters this is not seconds this is meters 900 meter distance from station a then after this the afterwards it the train travels with a constant velocity for 15 minutes so if the train travels with constant velocity its acceleration will be equal to zero so for we we can say that t2 is equal to 15 minutes and then 15 minutes this is minutes so 15 minutes multiplied by 60 this gives us 900 seconds so for next 900 seconds the velocity remains constant so we can say that velocity v2 is equal to v1 equals to 30 meter per second. And if there is no change in the velocity, the acceleration for the next 900 seconds is 0. So we can find the distance traveled from the initial state from station A. If we find, if we write this equation as 2, this will be equal to S1 plus v1 into t2 plus 1 divided by 2 a2 into t2 square so this is the second uh, interval for the second interval s2 is equal to s1 plus this equation so now s2 is equal to s1 this is 900 s1 is 900 we have determined this plus v1 which is 30 t2 is 900 plus 1 divided by 2 a2 is 0. So if A2 is 0, this whole term will become 0. So this is 0, right? So we can write that this is plus 0. So now this will be 900. 900 plus 30 into 900. This gives us 27,000. 27,900 meters. So from the initial state, from station A, the train, the train travels 27,900 meters. Now, the third state is, the third condition is, uh, it then deaccelerates at 1 meter per second. So now, the, the deaccelerate, so A3 
is equal to minus 1 meter per second square and then it comes to rest at station B. So let's say that V3 is equal to 0. So we have to find S3, the total distance between station A and station B. So now we can write that V3, the final velocity will be equal to the initial velocity for this state V2 uh, plus A into T3. So for this state, the time interval, the time is not known, right? So first of all, we have to find this T3. This T3 will tell us the time. This will be the time for which the train will come to rest after that 15 minutes, right? So this V3 is 0 and V2 is, this is V2, which is 30 meter per second. So this is 30 and the acceleration is minus 1. This is deacceleration. And this is T3 and from this we can write that T3 is equal to uh, 30 seconds. This is T3 is equal to 30 seconds. So now the train takes 30 seconds to come to rest when it is deaccelerating with an acceleration of minus 1 meter per second square. Now S3 will be equal to, we can write that S3 will be equal to S2 plus V2T v2 t3 and plus 1 divided by 2 a3 t3 square now s2 is this is s2 which is 27 900 plus v2 v2 is 30 t3 is 30 plus and now a3 is uh, minus 1 and t3 is 30 square so this is uh, 27,900, 27,900 plus 30 into 30 and 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5, so this is 0 0.5 into minus 1 multiplied by 30 squared. So this gives me as 3, the total distance between station 1 and station, uh, station A and station B is equals to as 3 equals to 28,350 meters or we can say that this is equal to 28.35 kilometers. So the distance between station A and station B is 28.35 kilometers. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.